All right, we are up and live, and it is Monday. So excited to be with you guys today. We're going to give everybody just a few minutes to get on. I know we're starting a little late. Um, took just a moment to get us set up on Facebook, but very excited to be with you guys today. It's summertime. Hear me jamming in the background. A little fresh print DJ Jazzy Jeff, right? <laughs> well, I'm so excited to be with you guys. Today we are talking about having a summer of success, um, getting yourself in position to be able to beat the slump right you know that that slump that business kind of slows down based on what kind of business you're in you don't feel like working because it's so beautiful outside well today we are going to talk about principles and tactics you can implement now to ensure that you have an amazing summer of success so welcome 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 to each of you guys joining hopefully you have grabbed your lunch and a pen and a notepad. Um, you know, if you're driving, you've got us on your device, uh, mobile device, and you're listening in. And as always, your replays are going to be posted in the back office of our website. So when you log in, you'll have the opportunity to see this training again. So let me go ahead. I want to begin by sharing my screen here briefly with you all. And then we will jump in and get started. Sound like a plan? Hopefully you guys are enjoying your summer already. Ours is actually just going to get started. Our, our kiddos finish school this week and then it's official. So let's get ready and jump in. This is your summer of success. Today we are talking about how to stay productive during the summer slump. I don't know about you all, but the stats don't lie. 25% of workers feel less productive in the summer. So how do you feel about business in the summer? Is it a busy time for you? Is it tough for you to be able to get motivated and to stay on track because of the beautiful weather or vacations or maybe kids being at home with you? I would love to get your feedback. And I know that we've got some ladies online now on our Facebook group who are watching this. Just go ahead and comment below. Even if you're seeing this later on, put your comments in. It's important that we share as a community what our struggles are or, or what's going on with our business so we can each begin to learn from each other. So how do you feel about business in the summer? Busy, busy, busy. I'm on the go. Ugh is maybe your response. Put an emoji um, at the bottom of this live in our Facebook group. I would love to hear your feedback and know exactly how it is that you're handling the summer. So what my goal is today is despite what the stats say, despite how you feel about the summer, is to help you change your mind about running your business this summer, getting you out of a slump, getting you productive and prepared to have a real summer of success. That's what we're looking for. So I'm diving in now. I'm gonna make sure that I'm on in the group, you guys, for the live that's populating. Um, for those of you in our VIP Facebook group or on the Zoom, you can head over there. Would love to see your comments as we go through today's training. So how do we make sure you're not a part of that 25%? I wanna share with you today this amazing philosophy. It's called the Ant Philosophy by Jim Rohn. Jim Rohn is one of my um, favorite personal development speakers and trainers. Um, old school, obviously this is some training from the 80s and the 90s, but I'll tell you, it's so good. And he has an amazing philosophy called the Ant Philosophy. There's four parts to it. Today we're gonna really focus on one, but I wanted to give you all four. The first is ants never quit. 
Ants never quit. Have you all sat around outside and ever seen kind of an ant hill forming maybe in your yard or um, at a park? And those ants, man, they're just moving and moving. And even if you're somebody maybe like me who has pushed the ant hill over to kind of get them to scatter away, they come right back. They keep coming back to what their goal was. And that was digging and burrowing that hole. I'll tell you, ants never quit. So in the summer, it's so important that you never quit looking for a way to get where it is that you're supposed to go. Even if business is slow, even if you're not feeling like doing it, do not quit. The other thing about ants that Jim Rohn teaches is that ants think summer all winter, right? So all winter long, it's cold, the conditions are harsh, but they are thinking already, storing up energy so that as soon as summer hits, day one, they are out accomplishing their goals, right? Storing food, getting prepared for what? the winter. So even when we're in winter seasons, right, negative seasons, slow seasons, we want to be thinking to summer because summer's going to come around. Productivity is going to come around. Beautiful weather, positive things. So even amidst negatives, low seasons, we want to be thinking about the, the summer season, that positive season that's coming forth. And in the converse, ants think winter all summer. And that's where we're gonna really focus today. So in the summertime, as soon as it's warm outside, the very first bug you see is usually an ant, right? Just go ahead and drop, see when your you know, kids drop a popsicle or you drop part of your lunch outside. Doesn't take long at all. The ants are all over it. They are busy, 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 busy in the summer. Now, ants don't know much about vacation, which we'll talk about, but they are focused on winter in the summer. So now they know that this great weather isn't gonna end, that their opportunity to store and to harvest isn't gonna, isn't going, is going to come to an end, I should say, and that we're gonna end up seeing winter again. So they choose to be busy, busy, busy in the summer because they're already thinking winter. And that's going to be what our focus is and our mindset change needs to be this summer. I know it's hard, right? Gorgeous weather. I mean, come on, you heard Summertime, right? From Fresh Prince, DJ Jazzy Jeff, man, I hear that song and it immediately want, makes me wanna grab a lemonade, sit outside and relax. And we wanna do some of that, but we've got to be focused in on the fact that winter is going to come. Summer's going to come to an end and we wanna be prepared. So philosophy number four then, ants do all they can. So you want to do all you can and more while the weather is beautiful, while we've got these extended days. Oh my gosh, so much sunlight, right? Rising early and staying up late through the end of the day. Doesn't mean you're working all day, but we're really maximizing those daylight hours to do all we can this summer to prepare for the winter, okay? So there's balance in that. There's balance in that. Like I said, ants don't know about vacation, right? They just work, work, work. And we definitely need vacation. We need breaks. But it's important in the summer that we really do our very best to divide our time rightly and focus in on business when it's time to focus in on business, focus in on family and other things as it is. So let's talk about that. Small changes make a big difference difference. And I'll tell you, that is something that we learned from ants, right? Think about it. As you've seen that ant hill that I talked about moments ago, these little itty bitty bitty ants create this massive mound of dirt. If you've ever run up on an ant hill, sometimes you're like, is there an animal in there? No, it's a bunch, bunch of little tiny ants. But piece by piece, they have made small changes, carrying just a little bit of dirt here, digging a little there, carrying more dirt, digging a little there, that has created this massive mountain of dirt. And so the reality is sometimes we think that if we can't be uber productive, we can't close out this massive project that it's not worth doing. And that's not it at all. The very small changes that you make, the very small tasks 
that you take every single day can make a huge difference, especially by the end of the summer. And so today I want to focus in on five areas. That's it five areas. And what I want you to do as we're talking, you're going to simply create a to-do list in the areas of these segments, just one, maybe two items that you're going to implement this week. Okay. One to two items that you're going to implement this week. And at the end of this call, this webinar, you guys are going to be able to take that to-do list and I want you to commit to putting it to action this week. Sound good? I've got ladies on here I'm interacting with on the live, so I'm hoping you guys are hopping on there if not. It's important that we get our calendars in line and we stay super focused. It's so easy to push off meetings from this week to next week, to say, you know what, I don't wanna worry about that until July. Do not put off for tomorrow what you can do today. I'm telling you, something is going to come up. Something's going to happen that's going to impede your progress. It could be a good thing. It could be a bad thing. It could be a great opportunity. But if you do not take advantage of the days that you have now in June to just accomplish stuff, by the time July comes, you're going to feel backed up, overwhelmed, unproductive, and those summer slumps are going to smack you right in the face. And we don't want that to happen. So let's get that calendar in order. Number two, content. Summer is the perfect time to create amazing content, get ahead of content, so that you're well prepared into fall, even into winter with social media. We'll talk about it more here in a moment, but get ahead on content. Number three, summer is a perfect time for you to take some time for you and personally develop yourself while business is slow for those of you who it is during the summertime or you're taking some time back on purpose let's really dig into developing who you are as a leader as a businesswoman as an entrepreneur this is very important number four rest this is ideal time to rest, rejuvenate, spend lots of time thinking, pondering, dreaming, all of those things help energize you to move forward in a successful way. And last, but certainly not least, readiness. You have an opportunity, just like those ants, to get ready for winter. Don't wait for winter to come. And I say winter, remember, in the season, of winter, right? The cold weather. But I mean those downtimes in business, those slumps in business when sales aren't high. Let's get prepared now for strategies and planning to really win when winter comes. So we were going to focus in on our calendar, content, development, rest, and readiness. All right. So let's talk about our calendar. Set it now. I want you to focus in on three things. So start that to-do list. Focus in on what your business hours are going to be for the summer. So for me, I personally take every Friday afternoon off during the month of June and July to spend that time taking care of my family, um, doing activities with the kids, or even things that pertain to my household. So by one o'clock on a Friday afternoon, I'm not doing anything during the months of June or July, but I'm making sure that I'm actually in the office a little bit earlier so that I can be sure to be super productive and still max out during my weeks. So I actually start my days 30 minutes earlier. So I go from 8 a.m. to my normal 5 p.m. Monday through Thursday, but on Fridays I do 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. So I want you to decide now, what are my business hours this summer? I want you to set them. I want you to block your calendar in that way. I want you to maybe put an email um, in your email signature to your clients, summer hours in effect. I will not be in the office on. Maybe it's all of Friday, right? You, you have your prerogative to do that. You have the opportunity to do that. But let's make sure that our calendar is set so that when we're in the office, we're focused and we're getting work done. And when we're out of the office, we're out of the office. We're off the grid. We're enjoying our families. We're accomplishing things in other areas of our lives. All right? I want you to also 
block family time. Summer is only summer for a certain amount of, of weeks, right? Especially here in Chicago, they always say we have 300 days of summer. After that, the weather changes and it's not so beautiful, right? We don't want to be outside um, in the winter months. And, and oftentimes we, fi we find that we're, you know, a little lazier, right? So summertime for us in the Midwest is huge. And I want to make sure that I'm blocking time with my family that's going to have some real specific activities attached to it. So I'm kind of talking about family and fun together. Um, because for me, that is fun, right? For you, maybe you don't have a family, but you want to block time to be at a family reunion. You want to block time to spend time with siblings or, or parents. You want to block time for activities for you. But let's be intentional. So this week, literally this week, put on your to-do, block out family time. Whether it is every other week, whether it's once a week, it's a three-hour block, it's a two-hour block, be super specific. And for me, I love to color code my calendar, so my family time is in purple. And so Friday afternoons, I block, I'm out of the office from one until five, and that's purple. I'm gonna spend time with my family in some way, all right? Over the weekend, I'm probably gonna do some extra things with them, but I'm gonna be super intentional to block it and know that it's going to be designated time for them. I'm not multitasking, I'm not taking my computer with me. We are just spending family time together, all right? That's your second step. Focused business time, block your family time. And last, plan activities. The summer can come and go, and oftentimes the easiest way to get over a slump is to feel like you're really getting some great activities in. Um, whether it is um, going to a water park, heading to the beach, it is going to the mall or to the spa for specific shopping time for you or pampering time for you. Plan these activities now. June, July, and August. Make sure that you've got those on the calendar and blocked. Maybe you haven't made your appointment yet, right? Maybe you haven't called your friends to book it with them, but you have got to block this time and make sure that it's scheduled. So the summer doesn't come and go and you're feeling unfulfilled, right? That's that balance in business. As hard as we work, we also want to play that hard. And it doesn't happen by chance, ladies. you got to be super intentional about creating these moments in your summer that you're going to look back when fall comes and say, man, this is the best summer yet. Like, I had so much fun. You remember that time we did X, Y, Z? Remember that time we went and did this? It could be dinner at home, outside on your patio, right? A great glass of wine, some music, um, maybe board games or cards. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be spending a lot of money, but you want to block it out. You want to be intentional, and you've got to get it in your calendar, all right? Everybody good on those three things? Give me a shout out on the live so I can see you're still tracking. I want to see your business hours blocked on your calendar. I want to see your family time blocked on your calendar. And I want to see fun activities planned. Block out time this week to do this for the entire month of June, July, and August. All right? Next. Let's talk about inspiration. I think summer is so inspirational, and I love these pictures here between eating fresh fruit, yummy fresh food that is like perfectly in season in the summer, heading out to a restaurant or your favorite coffee shop. Maybe for our Florida CEO chicks, it's being at the beach every single weekend or going on an amazing vacation. Inspiration is everywhere in the summer and you want to position yourself to really be able to soak it up and take advantage of that inspiration this becomes a perfect catalyst for creating and building content that is going to be crucial to success in your business and if you've never done this before that's okay it's brand new but I want you to get inspired and I want you to decide that this summer I'm going to really turn up those creative juices and I'm absolutely going to begin to build out content for my business. As you'll see on the left hand side of the screen, looking at social media posts, getting ready and stacking blog posts for the rest of the year. How about writing your first ebook or even your first published work? It's an excellent time to do that. And then of course, 
building out content for future webinars. You know, that's a perfect way to maybe spend your Friday afternoon. Maybe your Friday afternoon will be out of the office, um, but it will be, you know, directed create creative time, right? From one o'clock till five o'clock before your end of the day. And you're going to go ahead and get those social media posts blocked out through the end of the year. You know, you're going to start thinking about what kind of content you want to put out when the holidays come around, right? What a nice way to spend an afternoon to start to really become the architect of what content you want to put out at the end of the year and work yourself all the way back. Um, you know, it's something small. Take it one bite at a time. Don't get overwhelmed by it, but decide, you know what? Once a week, I'm going to spend time building content that's going to fuel business for me. It's going to fuel views. It's going to fuel engagement in my groups or on my social media. And it's going to drive back to an ask, getting people to purchase, buy my product and or services. All right. A perfect time to get those creative juices flowing. So I'm going to ask for the ladies who are watching on the live now, whether you're live or you're watching it after, Tell me one area you want to begin to create content this summer. It doesn't have to be all five that I've listed here, but I want to finish the summer and have my first ebook. I want to finish the summer and fill up my social media posts. Go ahead, answer in the group. We want to share what you all are working on. And maybe if you're working on something similar, you all can collab with another CEO chick who's maybe working on blog posts or working on an ebook like you so that you can share ideas and get uber creative working together. Sound good? All right. On the right side of this post, I wanted to give you guys some ideas for social media scheduling. You know, it can be super overwhelming in the summer. You want to take a break. You don't want to be on social media, but you haven't really planned ahead. So you're kind of forced every single day to get in and start to schedule posts or to post something. A lot of us want to take a, a, a step back from social media, right? In the summer, especially if you're going on long extended vacations or even sabbaticals, right? So why not utilize a social media posting or scheduling tool? I've given you a list of 11 here on this page where you can begin to schedule out your social media. So when you're ready to go off the grid in the summer, you're ready to take some time off or maybe just step back from social media for the entire month of July, your followers don't know that you've stepped back from social media. So you could decide that your creative content you're going to work on in the next week is building out your social media posts for the month of July, and you're going to put them into one of these tools so it automatically schedules it for you. We utilize Buffer. I love Buffer. Um, we have a team that helps schedule that and make sure that, that things are consistent on our pages. Shout out to Marsha, who is amazing with that. And Colleen, of course, who's always coming up with amazingly branded content for us. But you guys have the ability to do that. So maybe your creative time for content building will be focused on social media. You're going to get it plugged into one of these awesome tools. And then you're going to run away from social media in the month of July. You're going to take a step back. You're going to be off the grid, have some headspace for other areas of your business. But I would definitely recommend using one of these tools to be able to do that and stay consistent on social media with your followers. All right. So let's get those creative juices flowing and let's build some amazing content this summer to overcome that summer slump. Next, I want to talk about personal development. And I want to challenge you this summer. You know, I love sitting on our back patio, having um, something to drink, a snack, just enjoying the breeze and the weather and reading an amazing book. That is my favorite part about summer. And I want you to take advantage of that. So this is your next to do to add to your list is to choose one book to read from front to back this summer or choose one podcast to get in the habit of listening to. Now, some podcasts come out weekly. There are even some really great business podcasts that are daily. But you know what? It's awesome to kind of schedule an afternoon 
to get outdoors, maybe during your exercise time, if you're following our 30 day challenge in the group for exercising this month, get that podcast in, but it's such an easy way to spend a little bit of time accomplishing a great goal and definitely developing yourself. So pick a book. I want you to read it from front to back. You've got June, July, and August to be able to accomplish this, or you can choose and or, right, one podcast to just get in a habit of listening to, a business podcast that's going to give you fresh ideas, an industry podcast maybe that's going to help you get creative about your business in a new way, or any personal development podcast that's going to help just build you up in a new way this summer super important to your growth and development and a great time in the summer to grow you. All right. I want you all, if you're on now to go ahead and reply in the VIP Facebook group and tell us what you plan to read this summer or what's one of your favorite books or podcasts that you want to share with another CEO chick. I would love to get some recommendations in the group so that ladies can understand, you know, what other CEO chicks are reading, what they're listening to. Let's share some ideas on this so that we can all be super developing over the summer with some amazing reads and some amazing podcasts. All right. So let's recap. We talked about calendar. We've talked about content. We've talked about personal development this summer, all ways to beat the slump and be super successful. And next, I want to talk about rest. You need a rest strategy. I know that sounds so ridiculous, but if you're anything like I am or the hundreds of members that we talk to in one-on-one coaching, rest is difficult for us. We go, go, go. And honestly, we go until we can't go anymore and sometimes hit a wall because now we're sick, we're overwhelmed, we're emotionally out of balance, all because we didn't choose to rest. I want you to take a look at this quote, vacation matters. Most people have better life perspective and are more motivated to achieve their goals after a vacation even if it is a 24 hour time out. Can you believe that? All it takes is 24 hours. So maybe you aren't in a position to head out for a 10 day cruise or a seven day vacation. Maybe you can do a 24 hour staycation in a metropolitan city near you. Find a great hotel deal online, but get away and most importantly, get off the grid. That means off social media, off devices, sleep in, do something fun for yourself, take that spa day or that little mini spa vacation, but you have got to get time for you. That rest, and I know Coach Shelley will be all on here, amening, and yes, that's it. Um, because psychologically, we know it's important for your success. And so you've got to have a rest strategy. Maybe it is blocking out two hours every Saturday morning where you are zoning out or three hours, right? And that's a part of your strategy. Maybe it is in the month of July, you come all the way off of social media and you also take a week long vacation. You know, there's lots of ways to gain rest and vacation is amazing and important. And I want you to find a way to budget for that and to make it happen. But if not, I want you to find a way to be able to get rest additional sleep, time away, quiet and peace to just have thinking time for you about your business, about your goals, your dreams, your life. Um, you know, it's just so important. And I have to tell you, it has taken until here almost 40 to recognize how important it is to draw a line there. It is black and white. It is black and white. And if you don't create a strategy for taking care of yourself and vacationing and resting, life will make that happen for you in the form of emotional breakdowns, 
emotional instability, sickness, and disease, and that's just not an option. Um, and unfortunately, just being very transparent, I've experienced all of those things out of not slowing down and taking care of myself. And so learn, learn, learn from my experience, oh, and, and bad experiences of that, that you know you need the time. And so I want you to take it. So this is a to-do list. If you haven't planned a vacation yet this summer, if you don't have it blocked out on your calendar, I want you to do so now, even if it's just these 24 hours, make sure that it happens for you. All righty? All right, add that to your to-do list. To -do list. And last, but certainly not least, our readiness. Let's talk about sales. And I wanna spend the most time here because you know, if you are not thinking strategically about what's to come in this next season, if you're not really ready for that next season of your business, that next month, that next quarter, you're not planning ahead, you all are really like kind of hobbying it, right? And I say that in the most loving way, but the reality is business happens on purpose, not by accident. Let me say that again. Real business happens on purpose and not by accident. Continued growth and profitability happens on purpose and not by accident. And I know even just looking at this chart, like some of you are already, you know, getting the itchies, kind of like freaking out a little bit. It's really simple. It really is simple. And I want to help you understand today and the last bit of time that we have on this mastermind is to talk about your readiness. You know, at the beginning of this webinar, we talked about the ant. The ant spends, like the little ant, right, spends their entire summer thinking about winter. That's how they make it through winter. So the question is, if you don't shake yourself up out of your summer slump and get focused on the business at hand, what's going to happen when your winter season comes? When that slowdown in your business comes? When the physical winter comes, right? It's even harder to be productive then, right? Um, especially in cold weather states, you know, here up north, that is hard. So I want you to be ready. I want you to be blocking time and mentally getting ready for what the next season looks like in your business to ensure the annual sales are what you want them to be. Right now, it is the beginning of June. We're in the sixth month of the year. We're halfway through 2019. So are you where you want to be financially? Are you producing the kind of income that you want to in your business? I'm just going to let that sit a minute. We're halfway through the year. So that doesn't mean like you beat yourself up, but you say, man, I got to get it in the gear, in gear, because if your answers to any of those questions were kind of, I'm where I want, maybe, no, not really, not sure, then you can't be in a summer slump. You have got to get activated and get motivated to be serious about making changes in your business so that the second half of the year doesn't look like the first half of the year, that you are really ready for that winter season. Maybe for you who are in retail sales, winter is huge for you, right? Christmas, Thanksgiving, Black Friday, maybe you're in health and wellness and fall, winter is great for you as you ramp up and plan for January 1, um, uh, like New Year's Eve resolutions, right? But your readiness and your ability to capture that season and own it and make big money is based on what you do now in summer. Just like those ants who are busy, 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 preparing, preparing, preparing so that they can max out. 
So I put a couple topics here because just like I always say, you, it's, you can't boil the ocean, right? That's impossible. So don't try to do everything this summer, but let's pick one or two key areas that you really want to be ready in. And for those of you who have one-on-one -on -one coaching, these are the kind of things that you should be booking coaching with us. These are the kind of things that you should be bringing to your coach and saying, I'm not ready. How do I get there? What are your suggestions? Here are my ideas. How should I prepare now for, for back to school? How should I be preparing now when my schedule changes at the end of the summer? How do I prepare now for next month? Because I'm just not ready for it, right? Seasonal readiness. Every business has seasons. Take a look at this chart, right? If we were to look at sales for this company, right? Every month, January is a very low month. February, March, up to April is this huge incline, right? Their revenues are at almost their highest for the year or the highest for the year so far. And then all of a sudden, April, May, June, we hit a little bit of an increase in July and then a huge decline all the way to September before it picks back up. What happens in your business when the seasons change? Have you ever taken a look at your sales or maybe your own personal activity when you're really active in growing your business? I want you to take a minute to think about that. So if, if let's say for you, just like this company, they have some moderate growth in July, but by the end of August and September, it's very low for them. That may be a perfect time to really be getting planning sessions in, growing sessions in, strategy sessions in, so that when, take a look, December hits, they're going to have their biggest month of the year. Are you ready for that? Are you ready for that season right now? Have you even thought about it yet? So I want to challenge you. Seasonal readiness means being ready for the low times and being ready for the high times. And if you have not really contemplated that and started to get logistics and planning in place, I want to encourage you that you really spend some time doing that this summer. If we go across the list there on the screen, if you're watching, content creation, we talked about that. Do I have content ready for the end of the year? When I'm going to find my biggest months of sales, do I have Instagram, Twitter content, articles going out to bolster, bolster sales, to take advantage of that momentum and exploit it? If you are a retail seller, you have got to be sold out in November and December. And I mean sold out in products, sold out in your energy, in your effort, sold out in your marketing. I mean putting everything on the line because that's when you have the most to gain. Based on this chart, if that's your business, you need to be resting and planning now because when November and December comes, it looks like you aren't sleeping. But you aren't sleeping for a very good reason, right? Because you're about to make the most money that you've made all year in literally two months. That's the opportunity that's there for you. So what about content creation? Summer's a great time now to think about partnership planning. Who can you be collaborating with in the second part of the year? Maybe at the beginning of 2020 to really see your business go to that next level. Now's a great time to get ready for that. Speaking engagements. Summer is an awesome time to get your um, EPK ready, to get, that's your electronic press kit, to get your bio up, to have a photo shoot so that you're getting ready that when the end of summer comes around, you are soliciting for speaking engagements for 2020. You've got to be so ahead on that so that you're building out your calendar ahead of time and you are drawing the kind of client engagements that you want to participate in. So now's a great time to really get ready for speaking engagements for next year. How about sales readiness? We talked a little bit about that already. For those of you who maybe are selling, are having high selling seasons at the end of the year, maybe your highest selling comes here, July, June and July. It's not too late 
You need to be blocking more time for that right now, but really get prepared. How am I gonna maximize this summer season? What kind of summer sales am I putting out there or marketing out there? How about marketing planning? It's a lot like content creation, but what's my market plan for 2020? What kind of things do I wanna do differently than I did the year before? Growth and expansion. Summer is an awesome time. Take those down times, you know, working outdoors, heading to a park for the day, it'll be on your laptop, just to ponder and think about growth and expansion and work backwards to building a strategy for it for next year. And of course, event planning. If you're a business who carries on events as a part of your sales cycles or you're offering events, now's a great time to get in touch with people to begin booking out venues, getting coordinated with planners, and setting your event schedule for 2020. There's a lot to do, ladies. And I am telling you, I want to encourage you to not think about summer as the down summer that you've maybe had in the past or the slow summer that you've had in the past or the summer slumps that try to hit us. You want to be like that ant who is busy, 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 planning for an amazing future ensuring that you have a summer of success. And these five key areas we've talked about today, simply do your homework, get your calendar in line, pick an area to grow content, decide to develop personally in your downtime, make sure that you're going on vacation and you're getting rest. And then last but certainly not least, Get ready, get ready, get ready, because winter is coming and you want to be ready to be sold out to whatever it is that your business needs and to see continual growth even in the winter months. But we do that preparing now in the summer. So we have just a few moments left, ladies. A lot of content we talked about today, but really five areas that you can just take one simple step in each of those and begin to ensure that you are not going to be in a summer slump. So I want to take questions. For those ladies, I see you. Thank you for the hearts on our Facebook page. For those of you who are in the VIP um, group in comment sections now, shout out questions. Let me know what your focus is going to be um, this summer, what you really want to do to encourage success in your business, to take your business from a hobby to legit profitable business this summer. Um, you know, I would love to get your feedback on what it is that we shared today and answer any questions for those of you that have any. Go ahead and drop them here and we'll give everybody just a few seconds. I'm also, while we're waiting, going to check in our elite premium group as well. I want to make sure that we get those questions answered while we have the extra time, while you're locked in and focused on the training. I want to make sure that I'm here. And of course, as always, if you're not on live, that's okay. Drop your questions in the comments in the VIP Facebook group. And I will absolutely go back and respond to those. Our other coaches will go back and respond there. You know, our VIP Facebook group is such a great hub for collaboration. And I really want to encourage you to begin to use it just for that. Ask questions. Um, if you're struggling with something, share successes. We want to celebrate you and what's happening in your business. So be sure that you are absolutely doing that. Um, you're utilizing that Facebook group. Um, if you're an elite premium member, we have a chat as well. I want you to be um, you know, getting activated there if you haven't already. And I wanna make sure that we're really absolutely doing our best to connect, to stay connected, and to provide feedback and information for you all there. So 
with no questions. We're gonna close out today just a little early. I know it's a busy, busy Monday and the first of June, so so many of you have a lot of tasks on your list, but a few reminders. If you are an elite or premium member, please book your coaching sessions, whether that's quarterly or that's monthly. Don't slow down in the summer. Stay engaged, get with your coach, and make sure that we're plowing through the initiatives in your business. I want you to also make sure that you head over to our website to the events tab. We have some amazing things happening for you VIP members. We've got a spa day already on the schedule in Orlando. Don't worry, Chicago, one is coming for you as well. Um, we want to make sure that um, we're definitely seeing each other this summer, spending time together um, and continuing um, to see iron sharpen iron at our events. And today we just uploaded new content for co the um, coaches, uploaded content in the back of our website. And I'm telling you all, these blogs are the bomb. So please put that on your calendar, schedule time each and every month to go back. Um, generally content is up by the fifth of every month. You can read blogs or see a vlog from our amazing coaches and this month they are on fire. So make sure you do that as well too. As always, Coach Jen here um, to support you, to encourage you and to help supply you with the information you need to succeed in your business. So don't be a stranger, comment, in the um, chat box below here on our VIP Facebook page. Any questions you have, post it to the page. And as always, you can email us at info at ceochicksonline.com. That's info at ceochicksonline.com. We are here to serve the needs of your business and you personally and ensure that you have a summer of success. So signing off, y'all have a wonderful day. Catch up with the replay. If you didn't get it live, it'll be um, in the group in the back office as well as on the VIP Facebook page. Happy Monday, ladies. Take care. Bye-bye.